हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी शेल डिस्कस इंटरेस्ट रेट बेसिस रिस्क व्हाट इज बेसिस रिस्क बिफोर वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द बेसिस रिस्क वन थिंग वी शुड अप्रिशिएट दैट इंटरेस्ट रेट रिस्क टेक्स प्लेस इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स दीज फॉर्म्स कुड बी यील्ड कर्व रिस्क इट कैन बी repricing risk it can be gap or mismatch risk or it can be basis risk friends we normally appreciate that if assets and liabilities have same maturity there should not be any risk but still there can be interest rate risk in the form of basis risk now what is basis risk and how it arises basis risk is the result of the fact that asset and liabilities may be priced on different basis generally it happens in case of floating rate interest rates for example we have a term loan of rupees 2 crore with floating interest rate with maturity period of 5 years this term loan is funded by a 2 year floating rate fdr the benchmark for term loan is 5 year government bond and benchmark for fdr is 364 treasury days treasury bills this means for fdr the change will take an in interest rate when change takes place in 364 days treasury bill and change in the term loan interest rate will take place when change in the yield from five year government bond is taking place whenever this change takes place it can impact net interest income or net interest margin of the bank let us see how will it happen so we have an example here net interest income and net interest margin before repricing before change of interest rate so here we have term loan amount is 200 lakh we have fixed deposit amount is 200 lakh term loan rate of interest is 11% fd rate of interest is 8% this means there is a spread of 3% in this case the net interest income is 6 lakh that is 200 into 11 22 lakh 200 into 8% that is 16 the gap between these two will be 6 lakh so in this case net interest margin is 3% so 600 divided by 200 to net interest margin is 3% so this is the situation before repricing of asset or repricing of liability now let us see the position after repricing the term loan interest rate has come down from 11% to 10.5% as a result of change in the government security yield similarly fixed deposit interest rate which was 8% earlier has come down to 7.75% so the gap between these two called spread so spread has come down to 2.75% in the previous case it was 3% and now it is 2.75% and based on this the net interest income which was 6 lakhs earlier now the in net interest income is 5.5 and the net interest margin 
which was 3% earlier now has come down to 2.75 so here we find that interest rates have been fixed for a term loan and a fixed deposit on different basis and as a result whenever those benchmarks change they bring change in the rate of interest for assets and liabilities and a result the spread can undergo change the net interest income can undergo change and net interest margin it can also undergo change so this is basis risk in interest rate risk as part of market risk thank you friends